All right, so I'm in the final steps of my lantern. So here it is, all cut out. I remember that spot that I was telling you about in the previous video. Um, I had to leave because my pattern wasn't lining up. So if you have to do something like that, it's, it's fine. And you can do a carving or you could stamp or you could even carve in this area if you wanted to freehand it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I kind of like it. I don't know, I might put some texture or something like on this inside, but um, I'm gonna clean up the edges first before I do that. So um, I did have a couple of you email in that uh, you broke a few pieces. So um, that is pretty normal, uh, especially if it's your first time doing the piercing technique. So and our clay was a little bit thick. So those sorts of things kind of play a part. Um, it also depends on your pattern, you know, can be a little bit tricky. So if you had that happen, um, just remember that you can re-moisten your clay. So you would spray both pieces, both your broken, the part that's on the structure and then the actual piece. You're gonna spray it. If you have paper towel or like a washcloth or something or an old t-shirt, soak that in uh, water and then wrap the whole thing up and then um, leave it under plastic, maybe about 10 minutes, then check it again. If it lost its moisture, then respray it put it under plastic for another 10 or so. And it should, because the clay is not super thick, it's in slab, it should soften up enough that you can reattach it. And then um, you could even like turn it into like an actual slab piece, you know, just between your hands and just reattach that whole section. Let it get to that um, stiff clay stage and then recarve. But if you do that, you gotta be careful that the other side of your form doesn't move into the leather stage so you would want to keep that part covered while the other you're fixing the other section so um if you have that go ahead and try it you know and if you still run into problems send me a picture um or we can do a google meet or something and we can figure it out so um hopefully you guys are doing okay with that remember to go slow if your hands get tired stop and take a break come back to it again tomorrow um your eyes tend to get really tired too especially if you have a small pattern so just kind of keep those things in mind. Don't feel like you have to finish all the carving in one setting. I know it gets a little addictive and then you just want to get it finished. But if your hands and your eyes are tired, you know, you're going to make mistakes. So I should have told you that yesterday, but I forgot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth out my edges now. So I feel like you guys know this step, but I wanted to go ahead and just kind of touch on it. Um, and then I'm going to let it set up. Um, out in the air probably for I don't know maybe about 40 minutes it won't need much because it's already moving in it's getting pretty close to leather hard um, and then I'll do some final like scraping and smoothing and then it will be finished but um, mine I'm not going to leave it out because I want to be able to transport it back to the kiln and you need to be able to do that as well so um, I will see you again uh, it will happen so once you get it all the way finished, once you finish the step I'm gonna talk about right now, then you know leave it out maybe 20, 30 minutes longer and then put it under plastic and just let it sit there um, until further notice. And then um, not next week because this is not due till next Friday. Um, but then after that, we'll roll out um, kind of a new assignment. We'll kind of see where everybody's at. Um, so stay tuned. <laughs> it won't be anything too crazy because we got limited supplies, right? All right, so I'm gonna put this down. So what I'm gonna do is I have a little bowl of water and then I've got my paintbrush. I'm actually gonna get a bigger paintbrush. See my paintbrush collection? Artists tend to kind of collect brushes certain ones you know work better for certain things and then I have a glazing collection of brushes as well mm. use this one I think I go back and forth between I'll go back and forth between a couple different ones but whatever you have is fine it'll work so I'm just dipping in water and then I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna kind of smooth this stuff out. You know, I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure as I do this, but I'm just going to go through and this can be a little bit time consuming, but it'll look really nice when you're done. I'm going to go through with my brush and I'm just going to smooth out those edges, even on the inside. 
okay? Remember, you're doing a three-dimensional form. So um, you want it to look nice on all sides. You guys can obviously work on this side, but I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going back in with my fingertip and I'm just kind of smoothing that stuff out on the edge. Um, now you have your sponge, so you can use your sponge too. But just going over the edges like this, it'll smooth out the outside, but it's not gonna smooth in the section, you know, where you actually cut. So that's why you gotta use your paintbrush. If you want to, you could go through on the outside with your sponge first. Um, but don't press really hard because you don't wanna pop these loose and then break it, okay? So you'll just do that on the whole thing. And then of course, use your sponge on the inside foot. I'm um, just smoothing that out. You probably have some crumbs in there from putting. So make sure you do the inside. You also wanna do the inside here. Um, it might be a little bit hard to get your paintbrush down in there on the inside, but you should be able to get pretty far down in there if you need to. But definitely take your brush and kind of go back through. If you need to at this point too, you could, um, because it's probably a little bit more stiff, you can use your rib tool. Make sure you're always supporting the outside though. And you could kind of scrape some of that clay off. That'll help smooth it out. And you really want to do this while your clay is still at the stiff clay stage because that way if you do end up with any breaks you can you know fix it but once it gets to that leather hard stage it's a little bit harder you'd have to wet your clay back down which I'm not saying you couldn't fix it it's just it makes it more difficult and you always might end up you, you still could end up with a crack in that area because it's going to be brittle and weak so rip the inside and then use your sponge and that should get it pretty smooth. And then I still will probably do my paintbrush probably till about down to there on the inside. So I'm gonna do this to both the outside and the inside just to get those edges really, really nice and smooth. And then of course, go ahead and smooth out your top. And then you'll wanna flip it over and you'll wanna smooth out the foot. And then once you have everything done, make sure that you Carve your name, carve your name, and then I would put the year because this is a pretty um, profound school year that you guys are having. So this will be cool to kind of document it. You can even put like, you have a big enough foot here, so you can even do like a quote, you know, from the year or something, you know, something funny that's happened to you. Um, but if you're gonna do any kind of carving on the base uh, to kind of memorialize this crazy school year you've had, uh, make sure that's at leather hard because we know that that's when we would do our carvings, okay? Um, yeah, and so that pretty much sums up your lantern piercing technique. So as you guys are going through this, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm not going to roll this whole video because I feel like you guys understand that. So uh, smooth with your ritual on the outside and the inside, and then smooth with your sponge, then go back in with your paintbrush and do some final touches. And it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. Um, I kind of go back and forth between all of it. So. Uh, do the best you can. Don't get stressed out. Go slow um, and be really careful because this is a really brittle structure at this point um, with all those pieces uh, out of the structure. Okay, that was a weird sentence, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, send me your questions. Um, if you need any help, I'm here for you. Talk to you soon.